it. You ready? Are you? It's been 12 months since his last appearance, but it's been worth the wait. Chad Reed is back racing the Supercross Masters, but now he wears the 2003 World Supercross Champions crown. Central Coast Express Advocate Stadium plays host to Reed's only Australian appearance, and with 20,000 fans to cheer on the hometown hero, it'll be full throttle for the Aussie contingent just to keep Reed in their sights. Yeah, it's awesome to be back. It's uh, you know an annual thing I've been doing for the last three years, and. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy coming back. I enjoy working with Phil Christensen from uh, Spokes Promotions. Reed has been in blinding form, having just beaten Ricky Carmichael for the seventh straight time. The question is, however, can the local boys match Reed for speed? Eight. For Charlie's Angel, full throttle. We are go in the Pro Open. Moto number one. Chad Reed aboard bike 22 has been squeezed. Danny Ham comes out smelling like roses, but there's some carnage in corner number one. As we watch the replay, Cameron Taylor, Shane Boyd and Troy Doran. Look at Doran, fully sideways, all three of them biting the dust. And a little worse for wear from it. Let's get back now to the man that this 20,000 strong crowd have come out to see. And it's Chad Reed, the Aussie sensation at 21 years of age for the factory Yamaha outfit. He's come over here to strut his stuff. His only Australian appearance. And isn't it great to have the world champ here to see him live? The bike looking great, bike 22. We see the rest of the pack trying to chase him, trying to learn something from the maestro. Danny Ham continuing to lead this one. Looking good for Team Axo Modal Suzuki. Of course, these two guys have grown up together, racing against each other in the junior ranks. And now we see Chad Reed clearing four into the whoops and sailing past Danny Ham. Well, I guess that's experience and pure pace. The way that he launches his assault on those stutters, absolutely awesome. The Curry Curry rider, of course, now based over in Florida for the best part of the year, doing his best to clear out on the pack. The crowd watching his every move. As we look at some of the other action here, Jay Marmont for Team Motor X KTM Racing. Trying to forge his way past some slower riders. Of course, he is the champ for 2003. Wrapping up the championship several rounds ago. His team, Motor X KTM, has served him brilliantly throughout the year. Of course, an absolute highlight for his resume. The championship this year, he's been an absolute model of consistency. This, along with his New South Wales State Motocross Championships and four Junior National Championships, has been a pretty good career for this man thus far especially when you consider the adversity that he's come back from. But how about this man? The crowd watching his every move. The former world runner-up in the 250 Motocross Championship crosses the line. He's done it with ease. The crowd enjoying every minute of it. Jay Marmont finishes second. Danny Ham behind him in third. And Shane Booth rounds out the top six.